Welcome back everyone, Phoenix3 here, and I figure tonight I'm going to play some Pokemon trading card game online, since it's been a while since I've done that. I have just got finished doing my homework, you know, the things just kind of sneak up on you kind of quick, so I've just been trying to get that out the way. It sucks because I actually have about, what, four to five days worth of homework. So this first week here was actually kind of heavy. I had to grind out uh, my last couple assignments. I'm taking a Microsoft Project 2010 class. And the, the workload for this class alone is heavy. Like Normally I just expect the instructor to be like, well, we're going to, you know, just read the chapter and you'll do one lesson. They might pick like tutorial one or two or something like that and they'll have you do that. This instructor has you do every single one of them and it comes out to like six to seven different assignments every single week now keep in mind i take three other classes as well that have a moderately heavy workload so i don't know how much time i'm going to have to do stuff like this like it is 1 31 a.m in the morning right now i kind of can't sleep because i slept all day leading up to going to school which I didn't end up going to school because of tech related stuff so yeah my day has been pretty pretty fun but I think I wanted to play something else cause I don't know if you guys are getting tired of me seeing or tired of me playing Dragonite so I just wanted to try to I guess make another deck and see how that goes I mean I, I think I was trying to do something with this Articuno right here so what's what's in here? We've got Aurora's, some Articunos, Seismato. Hold on, this is a oh, it's 72 cards. So how do I? I mean, I'm just better off playing with like Articuno Keldeo, right? Because this is a waste of space. Um probably some other cards in here that I don't need like the fossil researchers I think yeah that's an additional four cards so we could take that out Lysander's trump card how many float stones do I have why would I only have one Skyla like sometimes I question like the decks I make it's like sometimes they seem like they just feel right but then other times I'm like I don't know I mean, because I'm playing Blastoise, you gotta have rare candy. So, we're just gonna max out the Skyla here. Okay, so we got Float Stones. We'll take out the Heart Charms. And. See, the one thing I like about Articuno is that you can set up knockouts with Frost Prison. Because if you, if you put a, a, um, a stone on it, a, not a stone, a muscle band on it, then you're doing 100 damage and then you do 100 damage the next turn if you do 80 and 80 then Lysander something out you practically put 160 on an EX and then you can lock a new EX in the active spot put 160 on that Lysander out another EX Frost Prison that twice and then Blizzard knock out the active and two of the bench Pokemon that have 170 HP I've actually done that a couple of times with my Aroma T deck. I just happened to have an Articuno and stuff like that, and my opponent couldn't move anything. So I kind of stole the game that way. But we've got Scramble Switch. What other A specs do I have? A spec. I've got Crystal Edge, Crystal Wall, Thousand Machine, G Booster. Don't remember ever getting that. Uh, gold potion, which is pretty fun. Scoop of Cyclone and Scramble Switch. So I guess Scramble Switch is the best card for me to use in this deck. I'm not sure if I want to run four rare candies though. Yeah, my mouse is misbehaving again. So we've got a three-one-three line. I suppose I can put in more Seismitoads. Let's see, how many of these things do I got? I got three of those and one of those. So yeah, I have four size and toad EXs. Um, 
I guess we can run like two. What's my energy situation looking like? Three plasma. Is that all I have? Let me run four. And then that. I could probably put this up to 12, but I gotta take out some some cards here. I only have two Articuno EX. Uh, are there even any? Okay, this course machine. I'm about to say. Four eight. I got sixteen supporters. I think that's too many, though. I don't think I ever need four in, but we'll leave it there. Probably don't need that many cores, but you know what? We'll we'll see what happens. I've got float stones, so I can kill the switches. I think. And I really want to take out a rare candy here. Or we can leave it in and I could just take out a um one of these. Cause I still don't have other cards. You know, here's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna leave this at four. We're gonna put in some super energy retrieval. Let me turn my filters off. Oh, it's not it's just superior energy retrieval. Alright, let's see what else we got. Yeah, I'm an old school player. I'm used to super energy retrieval. One and three. So I think we only ever need two of these in the deck, so we'll put two in. We'll take out a rare candy. This one. And I don't know what else I'll take out. I, I suppose I could take out an N. Maybe take out a chorus. Let's try that. You only need to take out one more card. I could take this Articuno out, but I want to use it. Wow, this deck is bad. If I get a win with this, I'll be surprised. I need a new mouse. This one here, like the scroll wheel, when I try to scroll with it, it just like, it jumps back and forth like what you're seeing right now. And I, I don't like that. And it, it's hard to not do that because of habit. But I'm not sure what else I want to take out here. I mean, it's not bad having a single chorus in the deck. We'll see if I can get some shenanigans with Articuno EX. I mean, that'd be fun. Three chorus machines seems good. I also have the Lysander's trump card, so I got some more playroom than I would normally have. But it sucks only having one support return. Like that's the reason I like Magnazone. Like, it kind of spoiled me, so I'm used to just playing all my cards. Articuno. Let's see how this does. I tried to make a deck that screws up the meta. It didn't work, so we're just going to delete it. Uh, Eevee Lucent's Gujar. I really want to get Gujar to work, but I think it's just too many stage twos. I tried to make a Pidgeot Dragonite deck, and... Formats is way too fast for an attacking stage two that requires three energy. Like if it's attack cost one or even two, then it'd be much better. Like I think in order for a stage two, uh, an attacking stage two to be viable in the format, they need to have an energy cost between one or t one and two, and they need to hit hard, and preferably have an ability that protects them from basics or EXs not something along the lines of you know they can't take damage but 
something. They have to flip a coin to attack or... I don't know. I would like to see stage twos become a little bit more viable. So what's my opponent playing? Colorless and Psychic. Uh, is this Mill Tank? Bats? Guess we about to find out, right? And I've been seeing Crobat a lot lately. I get to start Seismitoad. So that's not too bad. I've got the Scramble Switch. So what do we got? Oh, Deoxys. Um, I think this is what I want to do. I want to attach that. Play the end. Keldeo. I think I want to not have a, have a laser on the Seismitoad, but at the same time, I really don't want to put Keldeo on the active spot and it gets stuck up there. But I got a Juniper, so something might happen. So I'm just going to rush in and hope that plays in my favor. If he plays a laser, he doesn't, so there goes the catcher, so I guess... Uh, okay, just burn it. Oh, crap, it's Lugia. Alright, so... If all goes well... Then Seismitoad should win. I'm going to Juniper, so I can try to get a, um, a, a Squirtle out here, so that's good. I'm going to put that down, and we're going to Quaking Punch. Lock him in the active spot. I don't want to use Grenade Hammer if I don't have to. But there's my Articuno. I am probably going to start charging it. I've got a Chorus. I don't want to Juniper this away, so we're just going to do that. We've got another Squirtle. I'm going to play the Squirtle. And Quaking Punch. I will probably grenade hammer this thing next turn. I mean, Lugia is an incredibly dangerous Pokemon. We'll do that. We'll do that. Um, I could Lysander, but you know, I want to play it safe. We're going to do that. And War Turtle. Good thing I have that. Quick and punch. Ooh. So I've, got, I've got my opponent locked. I think I'm going to take this opportunity here. Let's see, this thing's doing 140, 150, 160. Um. I'm going to Lysander out that I'm going to put an energy here on Keldeo. Just going to get some damage on this Lugia. Because normally these Plasma Lugia decks, they only place their eggs in one basket. They put everything on Lugia and try to win that way. And it doesn't ever really work for them. Well, I mean, it does work, but... Yeah, well, I don't know what I'm trying to say with that. It does work. So if you can kill the Lugia um, quite effectively, then you're good. So I am going to grab... I'll probably take Lysander's trump card. I mean, why not, right? I can put those cards back in my deck. I'm going to Quaking Punch. Next turn, I can knock out the Lugia with Grenade Hammer. Did I just Juniper? Of course I just Juniper. I didn't mean to do that. I meant to play the, the Lysander's Trump card. Oh well. I guess we'll take this opportunity here to get back... Where to get a Blastoise in play? Um, I'm gonna save that for next turn. I don't want to reveal it, 
but I did technically screw myself there, so. Grenade hammer it is. all that damage now I'm gonna have to do this with Keldeo I'm going to I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab the Lysander's trump card there's my Articuno but yeah, but I really don't like using Seismitoad. This is really my first time using it. And it's it's just too good a card. I really don't like cards that can lock an opponent as fiercely as it does. But I do have to admit though, this this card game is out of control. And I can say that, you know, this card game is out of control. Like, how fast it is. And how you really can't do anything about stuff like this. Frozen City. So I'm not too worried about that. Jesus Christ. You know what would be cool? To draw an end. That would be cool. Oh, I forgot he takes three prizes. Um. Yeah, go Blastoise. Okay, so what can I do here? I can Skyla for the superior energy retrieval. And I can attempt to frost lock this thing and hope it sticks I think that's my only play here so we will do that we will actually I well I mean either way I'm gonna have to do something to grab some energy so we're gonna attach that there One, two, three. Retreat into Articuno. I think I will play a second Articuno. Not sure what I really want to do with it. Actually, we're going to undo that. It'll be beneficial to get a Keldeo. And hopefully, we can... Keep this art, this this Lugia here. There's a switch. Jesus. Oh my goodness. Well, I mean that's normally the way a game can just go. Like uh, that's mostly the reason I don't like playing Lugia. It's it's too good. Uh, let's open this up and see what we get. We get Trevenant. So that's that pack. We'll try it again and hopefully we get a uh, a civilized game. So this here looks like a mashup stuff. So let's see what we get here. I mean, um, Pyroar would beat that deck. Anything with Safeguard would beat that deck. So this here is... I actually don't know what this is. 
I would say it's just evil tall, but he had a bunch of stuff in there. I don't know. It's, it's just really hard to play for the meta that you that you kind of want to play with. Like I do need Starling Megaphone, but. I don't have space for it. I'm gonna get end. Oh, this hand is bad. I mean, I can make it work, I guess. I'm just gonna put that Articuno down and start working on that. And then I'm gonna end my turn. Considering that's all I can do. Because it's not like I don't play with any other supporter in the deck, right? Uh, what's that dude? That's going to reduce my damage, I think. Yeah, 20 less. I mean, I guess I'm fine with that. I'm going to retreat, put Articuno up, just let that take hits, I guess. That's the only thing I can do. I'll probably switch back to my other one, my Dragonite deck, since that can actually beat this, given I get a decent hand. Like, I really don't like having damage on my board, so if I can have a way to remove it, then that's probably the best way that I'm going to go for playing this game. Like, I like the conservation strategies and try to, try to preserve energy, try to... Remove damage when you can. Just all that other stuff. So I wake up. I need like a Juniper right now. I get a Lysander. I can't use that. If I don't draw anything next turn, I'm just going to quit. I think I have a bunch of Lucarios. I can try to build that. I just really don't want to play Dragonite. Because, I mean, I know how that deck plays. And I can more than likely win games with it. But I kind of want to try something else, though. Run, like, Lucario and something. I don't know. We'll see. I really hate sitting here draw passing like that's just the worst thing to go through in a game when you have to do that draw pass draw pass draw pass like like N really needs to leave the format yeah we, we can't do anything with this I'll give it one more turn. I have 120. If he can retreat this, then this can knock this out. And I really don't want to have that, so I guess we'll just bring up the seismic. So if I can get a Juniper or an N off of, or if I can just get any one of those in the top deck, I can try to do something. But I pretty much need a giant, um, a giant draw. Yeah, I'm just not going to waste my time with this. I mean, my opponent's not drawing anything either, so. My ass will trainer lock him, right? Yeah. And 
again, please. Oh my goodness. Here, just gonna quit. I gave it a couple more turns just to see if something happened with it, but it, it wasn't happening. Oh well, let's try to do something else. I mean, I could have played better if I'll play one more. Like these games, I just don't draw supporters. Is just it, it kills me. Like. I really don't like the way the supporter system works anymore. Like, I, I feel it's an outdated mechanic with how fast the game is. Like, m like, supporters need to be able to do multiple things in order for it to keep up with the game. But I think they just need to dial back the Pokemon a little bit and make supporters. Because, like, there's nothing wrong with the support with the supporters in the game. It's just the Pokemon are way too fast and they do way too much damage. So I get to go first. Which is good. We start with a Squirtle. Um, I guess I do this too. I want to keep the Float Stone, I think. I have two more Float Stones, so we can do this, I guess. I at least want to get Articuno. I must say, do I have it? So my full art Articuno is prize. I should probably get some more Articunos. So we're gonna do this. I almost don't want to play this. So my other plasma energy is prize. I'm gonna end. And there's a Keldeo. And we'll just end the turn. Hopefully my opponent ends me because I really don't want to Juniper this away. So we can see a Machop, Mew, and Mokuhita. A Mewtwo, Lucario EX. I really don't want to see that Mewtwo. I have Mewtwo, so I don't know why I didn't stick him in here. Mewtwo loves Blastoise. got I will attach I'll put that there I think this Machop is stuck here it's got two in your tree costs Feels like he's just gonna power up this Lucario I'm just gonna wait a couple turns see what I get I can play the Juniper but I'd rather play conservative right now because I want to keep that scramble switch I'm going to put that there we're going to do this take the end play the end um, we can one so there's a good chance I'm not playing this end right here so we will take the war turtle next turn we'll have ourselves a blast voice We're just going to rush in. A chop 90 HP. Man, I, I really can't wait for Pokemon Tournament to come out. That's going to be so good. I'm just seeing like Machoke here. It's like, man, it's going to be a Machop. So, what does this attack do? If this Pokemon's running HP is 10, it's attack to 70 more damage. So really good with uh, the Focus Sash. All right, so we've got our Blastoise. We've. I'm probably going to do something with this Articuno. But I'm a Juniper. Wow.
Yeah, I think wow is all I can say about that. So I think I take 90 now. That is if he wants to sacrifice it. I'm a champ. Okay, I think this is about to get bad. Okay. I am going to end. That hand was extremely unplayable. And now, I'm stuck with this with a lot of damage we'll put the float stone we'll retreat I don't think Lucario can knock out the Articuno on one hit though oh, oh, what's this on his Mewtwo Rocky Helmet alright we will retreat for Articuno I'm going to keep that water energy in my hand. I don't need it right now. So that's going to make the sash useless. I just need to get my Articuno. That was an Articuno. What wants to come out? Professor's letter, fighting energy, fighting energy is probably going on Mewtwo. I would have put it on Mewtwo, but I, I guess Mew can use it as well. I need another attacker, so I should probably take Ultra Ball. Let me see who else is in the deck. Seismitoad's in the deck. I can do something with that, I think. I've got a float stone. Yeah, I think that's the... I think that might be the right course of action. Ultra Ball for Seismitoad. Sounds like a plan to me. Take you. I suppose I have another Blastoise. We will take Seismitoad. Or I could just knock it out. But the idea is to let something else come up so Articuno can lock it. I'll put the floats. Uh, actually, I think I want to put the float stone on Seismitoad. So we'll put this here. We'll do the Deluge. And we've got that. Your opponent can't play item cards. Duly noted. Ooh. I like Juniper. We'll put the other Squirtle down. Put that there. I've got zero water energy in the discard. And we'll Quaking Punch. does my opponent do? Totally missed what happened while I was looking at my tablet. Ten left.
Articuno? Not Articuno. my opponent do you've got X ball the Lysander's trump card is going to be very helpful though I should I'm a versus seeker I'm gonna take the um the Lysander and I'm gonna try to lock I'm gonna try to lock something in the active spot though. I've got energy in my hand. I really don't need to play because I've got the ability to play as many as I want. But we are going to retreat for Articuno. And we are. I guess I can play this just so I can get it back in the deck. And we'll Lysander's trump card. Or a frost prison, the new 30 on it. I'm a Lysander out the. I'll probably Lysander out the Lucario since he doesn't have energy acceleration, it appears. So I really don't have to. Oh, of course he would have that. There goes the X ball. Oh, that was annoying. Okay, so what doesn't get knocked out by a Lucario? I can grenade hammer. Just kind of messes everything up I was going to plan. Okay, Ultra Ball for another Seismitoad, I think. Hopefully, there is one in the deck. If I had a second Articuno, I wouldn't be worried about that right now. So I just have to try to get out the prizes. We'll get rid of Lysander and. I guess a water energy. So we do this one, two, take all my energy, three, four. We attach and we do this. Retreat. Grenade hammer, 130. And everything on my bin stakes, 20. Hold on, is it not everything? Does 30 damage to your bench Pokemon? Okay, well, Squirtle and. Something that doesn't mind taking damage will put on the glass door. Articuno. Articuno. Oh my goodness. I'm like halfway tempted to just do a giant Keldeo. What do I need to do that? I need, we need my scramble switch. Scramble switch. Um, let's. Let's 
Let's reduce the chances of drawing something I don't want. Actually, I've got a Squirtle in play. We'll just we'll discard the Squirtle. I mean, I could probably clutch with Articuno if I have luck. So I don't have luck. But I do have Lysander, so I should have this game in the bag. That yeah, double colorless energy. Feels like it just almost came out of nowhere. Couldn't hit my Articuno like I wanted. Let's try to avoid it and let's discard you and I guess you. We'll take the Articuno so it's not in the deck. And we will grenade hammer. That's how much damage does this thing have on it? Because if I can make it to where he can't play like some shenanigans then we'll be good this thing has Lucario has 180 so if I hit it it'll go down to 140 so I got 130 here 130 here um I think I'm gonna play the conservative route that's why I don't want to do that. I can hit it. If he ends me, he ends me anyway. So I think we're just going to go grenade hammer 30. And well, I think it's getting pretty dangerous for this blast voice right here. Evo Soda. I mean, he can't leave the Lucario on the active spot. If he does, he loses. What do you do? Any damage done to this tax by tax from Fire and War Pokemon reduced by what? 30? 30. So, yeah, that was the shenanigans I was talking about right there. But luckily, I have Squirtle who doesn't mind absorbing a hit unless it's from this Machamp. 80 damage. 100. Who can take 100? Nobody, so I would rather give my opponent a prize instead of two. But that's all right. I've got the Lysander, so I can bring it out next turn and knock it out. All right, we got game. that I've got a Lysander there's the end oh it's on Lysander out with Lucario and oh, I'm gonna play this just in case something happens I've got a contingency somewhere and a real secret sword for knockout so what my Articuno and Blastoise for Enterprises three four coins yay so we gotta win with the deck um I kinda wanna Take a look at something else. I mean, we we've got we've, we've got Lucario's, I think. So I mean, let's try to see what we can do with it. Oh, C A R I O, Lucario. What do we got here? We've got Mega Lucario, and I only have one Lucario EX, and I have three Mega Lucarios. Are you kidding me? I can't do anything with that. I thought I had like at least two Lucarios. Oh my goodness. Okay, well there goes that plan. I could trade it and Luca. Like seriously, why is this locked? I want to trade it. I have a card locked to my account that I can't use. All right, so what else is interesting? What do I have that's an EX? EX. Is it going to bring up everything with EX in it? Yeah. Alright, so we're just going to do filters. Pokemon EX. I think I could just also put Dash EX. And it will also give me some results. So, I already did some with Articuno. We got the Bad Black Hiram. We got Chandelure EX. 
Charizard, we can't trade a Cresselia. Dialga EX, what do you do? East Plasma Energy attached to this Pokemon. Discard the top card of your opponent's deck. Are there anything with Mill? What else Mills? I mean, but the game is way too fast for Mill to actually be effective. Like, I would have to find a way to keep this alive. Which, which isn't happening. So I guess we can just pass that. I've already got Dragonite EX. I've got Emoga, but too weak. Garchomp EX really isn't all that good. We've got we got three Heracrosses, but I don't think we have any Mega Heracrosses. Got Keldeos, the one Lucario, the one Lugia, the one Magnezone, the one Malamar, the one M Charizard EX, the one two Meloetas. But I mean, round is just boring. I think we got four Mews, two Mewtwo's. Lucario's we can't use. Two Moltres. Mega Venusaur. What do you do? Well, I guess it doesn't matter. I don't think I even have Venusaur EX. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now paralyzed and poisoned. See, that's a good effect. I would love to use it. I got a buttload of Seismitoads and Shamans. You know what? Can we exploit Skarmory? I was really thinking of building like a Skarmory Articuno EX deck. You think you think that's possible? You think that's doable? Tornadus, Toxicroak, Virizion EX is on borrowing, two Xerneas, and two Zapdos. You know what? I'm gonna try something with Skarmory. Let's see what we can do with this. One, two, three, four. So what's a good way to spread damage? Isn't there a Pokemon with a coming in play effect that puts one on everything? Um, yes, there is. Um, all right, I've got filters on. Let's turn it off. I'm not sure how you spell that Pokemon's name. Uh, let's do filters. We'll find it. Metal stage one. Rare. Can I search for rares? Yes, I can. All right, so let's see what we got. Maybe it's a hollow rare. Nope. Okay, just show me all of my metal stage one Pokemon. There's a good chance I actually don't have the card. Um. Doesn't look like it. I got seven. Okay. Seven Skarmories. What do you do? Oh, God. You're bad. Uh, can I, like, search by Poke Powers or abilities? We've got some Clinks. Ooh. We can, we can, we can do Clink Clank stuff. So let's do Bronzor. Do we have any good ones? Is there a, a, a good Bronzor? No, that's Clink Clang. I mean, we can make a really stupid steel deck. Let's do that. One, two, three, four. I think I have some Plasma Clangs. Cliff Key. Clink. One, two, three. Okay, you know, just screw that. Just show me all of my metal Pokemon. Just like, give them all to me. Oh, goodness. I did the wrong thing. Just, we just want to see all the metal Pokemon. There we go. This Dialga's not metal, so why is it up in here? Why did this show up? It's like the game is treating it as a metal Pokemon, but it's not. Ooh, I've got Bronzors. Or Bronzongs. I did not know I had four. Okay, so we can do we can do something here. We got shenanigans. Chain stance. Age of slash and oh no, you know, you gotta come out. I just wanna see what you do. Okay, these are the same ones. 
Nothing unique there. Aura of the land. Does 20 damage to each bench Pokemon. So I need something that Skarmory can exploit. Something that just does 10 to everything. Okay, so I don't think I actually have any clean clings. That's going to be a disappointment because I actually want that plasma steel ability. Oh, I guess this has to come out. Goodbye, Clink. I really don't want to look for trades. Um, Stilix does what? I mean, we obviously can't make a deck with just Bronzong and, and Skarmory. We, we obviously can't do that. Uh, does Zapdos do anything? I know there was an old school Zapdos that did stuff. Apply. No, they don't. All right. Can I search for this one damage? Okay, so you can't search by effects. So here starts the tediousness. I just need a Pokemon that just does ten to everything. That's not Articuno. Well, actually, I think Articuno still works. It puts on one of your bench Pokemon. Yeah, so I think we could do Articuno. We could do. All the law. Discard stadium and play. We don't want to do that. What do you do? Igloo hold. Instead of using Articuno, we can use Crobat. We got any Crobats? We have three of you. Crobat. We have not the right Crobat. All right, so I guess we're using Articuno. Nothing wrong with that. I like Arkham. What's this Talon Flame do? Okay, they they made it bad. And they gave it a retreat cost. Like seriously, stop giving birds retreat costs. They don't need it. Metal energy E T. There we go. We're gonna make a really bad deck. Just give me a lot of these. 10 yeah that's fine I would like water and let's put one more water and let's put some plasma energy let's put two in no I want three 16 energy good battle compressor how many those do I have I know I have some five okay so we'll put Four in, and we want switch. We will put in. Oh, we got the scramble switch. We'll use that to one. Let's keep this tidy. Let's use this switch. One, two, three, four. Can we put it in there? There we go. Um, what else? Ultra ball. Yep. Nope, we, we, we know what it does. We know exactly what it does. Ultra Ball. Um. Mm, 
Evo soda? We can use that, right? Yeah, let's put two in here and see how it does. One, two. Let's probably put some supporters in here before I forget. Juniper. Juniper. And I don't think I can actually search like that. It's going to bring up everything that has an end in it. Oh, goodness gracious. How do I search for ends? I, I don't remember. I'm just going to do supporter. And just come across it. There was the end. Uh, we'll put the Lysander's trump card in to Lysander. Um, I think we should put in Skyla. I think two should be enough here. We should put in Oaks or Professor's Letter. I still got that one. We'll put one in. And Versus Seeker. I think we have to run three Versus Seeker in this deck. So I'm going to have to take out some cards, I think. So a supporter is looking like 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Oh, I think I need Chorus as well. What's the Pokemon situation looking like? 4 Skarmory's, 2 Articuno's. Okay, yeah, we can put Chorus in. So what do we take out for it? Chorus. Oh, I forgot about the cool chorus machine too. I at least gotta put two of those in. So we gotta take out six cards. Um, we probably don't need a bunch of those. Probably don't need all of those. Um Skyla's fine, chorus is fine. Probably take out an energy. Yeah. I only need one energy, I think. Like, I don't think I'm ever going to be using Frost Prison. But I kind of want to have the ability or the option to. I guess we'll take the Evil Sodas out. I mean, it's... I guess that's always, like, the 61st card in a deck. I still think there's something else I need to put in too. I think I need to put muscle bands in. Oh boy. Yeah, like I just don't have a lot of room for a lot of cards I want to put in. I guess I could take out a switch. I probably don't need the Oaks letter. I probably don't even need three battle compressors. I could probably get away with two. We'll see how that works. Scarm. We will use my signature Reshiram Zekrom coin. Yeah. Uh, deck box. Beta rewards. Sleeves. I got Pikachu sleeves when I get those. Well, I'm going to use these because I haven't used these yet. Beta reward sleeves. All right, let's go back online and see if if we get completely destroyed with this deck. Okay, Articuno, we've got, where's my Skarm deck at? There it is. I am probably gonna be suffering a lot without the use of my um, Muscle Band. That's gonna be an additional 20 damage. I think that's gonna matter a lot, but hopefully it doesn't. I mean, there's no way this deck is going to work, like, at all. But this air is for fun. Looking for opponents, and we found one. Oh, my goodness. Don't tell me he's playing the exact same deck I am. Um, no, He's probably playing Seismitoad and something. Yeah, I get to go first. That's a big deal. 
I really don't like that. Give me a Pokemon, please, to get out of this situation. Alright, so... I get a Pokemon. I get a Pokemon. So we're just going to... I think... Ah, uh, let's discard this, and I really want to keep that metal energy, though. I mean, I suppose we can get rid of that, and we will take our Skarmory or Articuno. Well, I don't have a water energy, so I guess we'll just take take that no we want we want Skarmory we want Skarmory yeah we will switch to get you there we will end and hopefully get an energy we got an energy play you and you and we will put that there let's see where this goes I was really hoping I wasn't playing against a deck that could kill me in one hit. That's exactly what that's going to do. Alright, Skarmory. We've got hey, an N. I, I like that. I like N when it's being used for me. So worst come to worst, we can completely lock this guy, no we can't, got the Keldeo. Alright, so we will do this. And this. Metal Link. We will do that. We will do that. Get some of this metal energy in the discard pile. Actually, I can put a supporter in there too. So I don't have to end my opponent. Um, let me see. What do we want? We can take Chorus. And Will versus Seeker. Take the Chorus. Play the Skarmory. I've got a bunch of Skarmories. Chorus. Take you. Switch. Go spin power driver, baby. I am going to get absolutely destroyed. Any metal energy? Oh, there's metal energy. Oh snap. Oh snap. Um I think we should go ahead and get this Articuno online. I can probably play the Juniper, but we're gonna decompress a little bit. No, we're gonna let that steam out. Um I'm not sure if I have to take three cards. We might have to though. We're going to put all our metal energy in there. I think this it might be better to Juniper. Because I really don't need any of these cards. Not yet, anyway. Okay. So we can get our second Bronzong in play. One. And... Um... B -b 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 two. Actually, let me check to see if my professor's letter is in here. Cause I might have to scholar for that next turn. There it is. I got water energy. Well, oh, I'm playing Ultra Ball. Hmm. 
evolve. Let's get Articuno set up. Oh, get all that energy just mm -hmm. at my disposal. Um, yeah. I've got a Skarmory next turn if I need it. Okay, so what are the chances my... Ooh. Alright, so what are the chances my opponent can get a Float Stone? I don't want to lose my Articuno if I can help it. An Articuno is hopelessly weak against this deck. So we will Tailspin Power Driver. Yes. Get him, Skarmory. I'm going to lock this Aegis Slash if he doesn't have another Keldeo. That's not a Keldeo. That's a Lysander. That's a Bronzong. Alright. But we have the switch. And with that switch... Oh, crap. I can't do that. I forgot. He has a an energy on him. Prevent all damage done by attacks. Oh, this is damage? Okay, well. You know... Oh snap. Okay, oh snap. Alright, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna power up another so we're gonna power up another Skarmory. You know? It, it ain't too bad. It ain't too bad. We got a metal energy in our hand. No good thing we did play it. We will retreat. Bring up another Skarmory. I am going to grab a Lysander. Because I really don't like that Dialga. And we are going to Tailspin Power Driver. So I guess after displaying this deck, like right now, I can benefit from some Float Stones. Or Keldeo. Keldeo and Float Stone. Benefit from the both of them. There's a Keldeo. There's a float stone. There's a Skyla. There's an end. Alright, so I'm going down to two next turn. So I am going to. Well, I can't lock this in the active spot. My opponent probably should just let me knock this out. Since I'll be going down to two next turn. Um, I'm just going to put this here. I mean, I it's like it, I don't want a Juniper because I can possibly get the Juniper back and the Lysander and the end. I mean, these are still good cards to have. Metal Links. Um, we've got. I mean, it'd be good just to have another one of these guys powered up, I guess. Wheel Tail Spin Power Driver. Actually, I can joust, discard the energy off of that, and force him to have more cards. That actually sounds like a better plan. So if I had a muscle band on me, then I could do the extra 40 damage I would need to knock this out. So yeah, I mean, I need to have Muscle Band. But this makes it to where he can't retreat. And he has to have more cards. And that's the reason I didn't do that, because I could just get this back. So three, and in this turn, I have a switch. I am going to lock this thing in place if I get a water energy I got a water energy so we're going to lock that in place retreat I could just um reattach the energy again it's not a big deal you'll do one there and one there just have Skarmory's ready to go yeah, Skarmory is actually a really good Pokemon. I mean, I guess people are sleeping on it, but... This makes it to where I can't hit still Pokemon. But... 
Oh, so I can't even lock this in the active spot anyway. Oh, so I guess it's a good thing I got that out of my system. But I can lock the Keldeo. And... Dang, so was it best to leave the Articuno in the active spot? I mean, it's not doing me any good. I could try to preserve the energy, I guess. Put it on... On this thing. So how many ends is that my opponent's played? Three. So there's one more floating around somewhere. I can take a knockout. I may do that. Uh, this Skarmory right here is my weakest one just because it has the energy on it. So I should probably go into that one. Or I could just knock this out right now with Articuno. Because Articuno can't Frost Prison anything. Because this is knocking something out next turn. I can't do anything about that. But I can knock out the uh, Keldeo. Actually... I'm a deck shrink. I've got an energy. We'll put that here. So if I play the end, I plus one. So, because I'm gonna have to get Lysander. Yeah, I'm gonna have to hit Lysander. I think. My opponent's at six, so there's nothing really different there. I want to play the scramble switch, but I might need it still. So there's a Lysander, so that's good. If I don't get in, I can win the game next turn. I can just knock out the Age of Slash. I mean, Articuno can still put 80 damage on something. This Skarmory right here cannot hit that. So we'll retreat. And bring up the Skarmory, I think. So, I mean, the switch is still useful. So, we'll do that. We'll tailspin Power Driver. Alright. Assuming I don't get end here, I'm good. Uh, but if I haven't talked enough about it though, but this year is going to be a good year for gaming. Like, I think Pokemon Tournament might be coming out this year. I think somebody said Tekken 7 has a release date of like 2016, which is annoying if that's true. But at least we got Mortal Kombat X to look forward to. So I'm really looking forward to that. I just want to see all the fatalities in X-Rays. Because they are just brutal. They just revealed Reptile and man... His x-ray, he breaks your neck, no, your jaw. And that wasn't an end, so we win. Yeah, I think this is going to be the last game. I think we're already in about an hour or so. We're pretty close to it. So, yeah, this is going to be the last game. Let's see what my opponent does. I mean, there's nothing he can do about the Lysander at all. He will knock out my Skarmory. I can't do anything about that. Opponent's thinking, and we win in... Three, two, one. All right. I should really try tournament mode. But, yeah, Skarmory was the MVP there. But that's all I got for you guys today. Let me see if I got any booster packs. Hey, we got one. Let's see what we get. Nothing. Maybe we got another Skarmory. Oh god, this one is bad. 
I mean, I guess it could kill EXs in two hit, but it's got that resistance too. So I guess that's decent. But that's the last video I got for you guys. If you like it, um, like the video. This here is going to let me know that you do like the video and will keep me doing more. I'll keep doing them anyway, even if you dislike it. So I guess it doesn't really matter. But I like like I like video likes, so please like the video and subscribe to my channel because I'm always going to be doing stuff like this. And in the future, I'm going to be doing um, gameplay videos of other games coming out. Um, I will be doing Pokemon Tournament when it releases here. I will be doing Mortal Kombat X, and I will be doing uh, uh, Tekken 7. I don't know about Street Fighter 5 just yet. I may get it just to play it a couple of times, but um, Tekken and Mortal Kombat are my main fighting games. I'll even do some Smash, but all that's, all that's coming soon. And as always, thank you for watching my videos, and I'll see you all in the next one.